Hello, everyone. Welcome back. So this is going to be a good topic. What is the Neolithic Revolution? Well, guys, the Neolithic Revolution is one of the most pivotal events in all of human history. Without the Neolithic Revolution, all the civilizations that we talk about, that I lecture about in all my courses and all my little videos, doesn't happen. So I'm going to start with where, where does the, where and when, where and when does the Neolithic Revolution begin and take place? It's going to be a short little video, but you'll see the, how important it is in terms of human history. So let's start with our first slide here and a place called Mesopotamia. Mesopotamia, uh, actually Greek words, meso meaning middle, like Mesosoprano, right? Mesoamerica. Potamia from the Greek word potamos, rivers, Mesopotamos, the land between the rivers, between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers, and really throughout this entire fertile crescent that we see on our map here, that whole region is where the Neolithic revolution begins. So some of the area further away from Mesopotamia and in Mesopotamia, that's where it all starts between about 7,000 and 3,000 BC. So what is it? You know, what happens during this time period that people who are what we call pre-civilization are allowed to become civilization? Well, around this time period, these nomadic wanderers, nomadic means wanderers, begin to do a few things because before this period of time, what we call the Stone Ages or, or pre-civilizations, people were just nomads. They were looking for food. They were hunters and gatherers until finally the Neolithic Revolution took place. So what did they figure out during this time period? Well, let me show you in our next slide. During the Neolithic Revolution, these nomadic wanderers who were just hunting and gatherers figured out a few things, like they invented and you learned how to use the wheel, you know, round thing rolls, good. Uh, they learned to do the domestication of animals like cattle and um, later on horses. One time I had students, I asked the students like, what? And the student goes, mammoth. And I'm like, no, no one had a pet mammoth. Uh, but, you know, they did learn how to domesticize animals like, like horses and cattle. And then if you also have a wheel, guess what? You can create devices like plows. At the same time, they begin to understand seasons. They see, hey, it's, you know, hot for a while, and then the leaves turn colors, and then, you know, wet stuff comes from the sky, then everything turns green, and, you know, it's hot outside, and they start figuring out these patterns of seasons. And so combining all that, the knowledge of the seasons, the understanding of, of domestication of animals, learning how to use devices, wheels, plows, they're able to develop agriculture. And sometimes we actually call the Neolithic Revolution the Agricultural Revolution. And what that means is that these nomads who have spent centuries, millenniums really, wandering around looking for food are able to create their own food. And once you create your own food, you can become sedentary. And sedentary is just a fancy smancy word for staying in one place. And once you come, become sedentary, that allows cultures to begin to develop civilization. So we move out of the Neolithic, Neo means new lithic stone, stone age, to the beginnings of civilization. And this is kind of the transition. There's this overlap between the Neolithic revolution and civilization where, where people start to develop more writing and monumental architecture and all the, and big cities and all the things that make a civilization a civilization, writing and so forth. So, you know, pretty cool stuff. Uh, so, you know, for any of you who are not familiar with the Neolithic Revolution, now you have a, a quick little summary of it. And of course, if you, you want to learn a lot more about this time period, just kind of go ahead and uh, click on some of my other lectures and you can learn a lot more about pre-civilization, a lot more about civilization. I have a whole set of lectures on those as well. Um, so hope you enjoyed that. And I'm planning my next short lecture uh, to be on something completely different. Um, one of the greatest forgeries in history. Uh, so look for that. That's coming up soon, too. All right. Thank you, everyone. Have a good day.